Welcome to Borderline Furniture RX. I'm Mara and this is Project 24 for the New Year New You Challenge. Hosted by Crystal at the Crafty Creech and co-hosted by DIYs by Dar. In this challenge, participants will use a new technique or process that they've never tried before to recreate a vintage style piece of furniture. So here's the first look at Project 24. When I first looked at this piece, it had a couple of stuck drawers. When the seller delivered it, the drawers were removed, but one of the drawers was broken. And it's not very hard to see why. At some point, this dresser was repaired using tub and tile sealant, which lacks the adhesion qualities needed to repair a drawer. After I clean out this stuff, I'll be using a proper wood glue to correctly repair this drawer. After this is properly assembled and seated, I'll use several wood clamps to secure the drawer front to the frame. And while the glue dries, I'm going to turn my attention to the broken drawer slides. Not one of these drawer slides were salvageable. Each one was missing some of the roller bearings. I was able to get a super deal on Amazon. I got five pair for $25, which I think is an excellent deal. But next time I do this, I'm going to go with Rockler because I think they actually have a higher quality product. I just purchased some Rockler undermount hardware and I'll be installing that in project number 26. So stay tuned and I will give you my honest feedback. Now back to the installation of these slides. I'll be matching the main frame and sliders to the position of the original hardware. There's a lever that releases the sliders from the main frame and these are attached to the drawers. Once all the hardware is installed, you'll just align the drawer and slide it into place. After the other four door slides were installed, I cleaned and scuff sanded the dresser. I'll be priming this piece before paint using my go-to Rust-Oleum Spray Primer. And here's the segue to the New Year Challenge, where I'm actually trying a technique that I've never done before. In fact, I had my friend Audrey come over and give me some lessons on painting techniques because this layering multicolor paint style is just something that I've never done and it unnerves me. If you follow my work, you know that I tend to be more modern industrial and not a lot of paint colors. Audrey's work, on the other hand, uses a lot of color. I'm going to link her Facebook page in the description below. After my hour-long lesson with Audrey, I started coming out of my faux pas, which is the fear of paint application, and she left me to my own devices. Just watch as I show how I mastered the hand smearing technique, and then later you'll see me using the wipey blotting method. And finally, I built up enough courage to use the antebellum blue to finish off the drawers with a bold look. While I was very happy with the paint application on the doors, I just couldn't get over the whole paint look of the sides and the top. At this point, there just seemed to be too much color going on, so I decided to paint the top and the sides of the chocolate brown. I know it seems like I'm going in the wrong direction with this brown paint, but it actually serves two purposes. One, to seal the gray primer, and the other is to provide a framework for the colored and painted pieces, which you'll see at the end. Once the brown paint was fully dried, 
I used a technique I saw on YouTube. I applied the paint and then misted it with water. Then I pulled the colors from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top using a putty knife. I started applying all that paint boldly. I can't say whether I was starting to get the hang of it or possibly in the back of my mind, I knew that if it started looking ugly, I could just pull out that brown paint and paint over it again. When I was satisfied with the brown rust and the antebellum blue streaks, I used two different dry brush techniques to apply the mustard yellow. The top and the corners of the dresser were left brown. I had two color considerations for the decorative molding. There was gold gilding wax or gemstone mousse in amber. The gold was picking up too much of the mustard yellow, so to prevent too much matchy-matchy, I went with the amber mousse. Applying this paint is as easy as it gets. You just use your fingers and apply it to the high points of the decorative molding. Once the mousse was fully applied, I sealed the entire piece using my spray gun with Varathane Polyacrylic in matte. With the painting and sealant applied, it's time for my favorite part, installing the hardware because that means we're almost done. These drawer pulls were purchased at Hobby Lobby and they definitely complete the look of this dresser perfectly. Just a reminder, of this broken down dresser where we started. And here is the final reveal. We are nearing the end of Project 24. Thanks to our hosts, Crystal from The Crafty Creech and DIYs by Dar for the super fun challenge. Please check the link at the end of this video for the playlist. I have several new experiences planned for 2024, so please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.